Yeah, guys, that's right. We've been getting a lot of questions from you, our viewers, asking us things like, what does that mean for the Paycom Center now that we are getting a new arena? And what about Prairie Surf Studios, which is in the Old Cost Convention Center? Well, I've been working to get those answers for you. The Thunder will eventually have a new home right here where the former Cox Convention Center is located. Passes 7-2. to two. Oklahoma City Council giving the green light to enter an agreement with the Oklahoma City Thunder to build that new arena at this location. In December, voters said yes to a one-cent sales tax to pay for the new arena, which will cost a minimum of $900 million. The OKC Thunder contributing $50 million to that price tag. The goal is to be done with construction by 2029. But what does this all mean for the Thunder's current arena across the street? I reached out to Mayor David Hull, who told told me the Paycom becoming a potentially unnecessary arena is the last step in the process, and it's best to make decisions when it is time to make decisions. There's no reason to make that decision today. The Thunder will continue to play there until the new arena is done. Over at the convention center, current tenant Prairie Surf Media will have to find a new studio. In a statement, CEO Matt Payne said, quote, We have known from the start that the former convention center site would be a temporary location for Prairie Surf. We are evaluating immediate and long-term opportunities. We thank the OKC Thunder and the city of Oklahoma City for supporting us and the film industry. The arena agreement also calls for an acre and a half of the new site to be reserved for a possible transit hub in the future. The city said there isn't anything in writing about what those plans would entail just yet. And guys, one thing I think we're all wondering right now is when will construction actually begin on this new arena? I've been trying to get that answer nailed down for us. The city says as soon as possible with Mayor David Holt adding they hope to have a better timeline by the end of this year. Reporting live from downtown Oklahoma City, Zach Royale, KOCO 5 News.